Hello everyone, welcome back to another Dead Estate video. Today we're going to be playing all of Jeff's Curses, and I'm not excited for it. Because, uh, Jeff's Curses seem freaking difficult to, uh, to pull off here. Just to give you a sense of what we're working with here, the Curses are... Boost Jeff max HP to 10, but he's even slower. He's already ridiculously slow. Makes the toilet paper spawn much more frequently for Jeff, but shops stop spawning. That's horrendous. And Curse of the Weary changes Jeff's default weapon to the double handgun, but increases the chance for tanky enemies to spawn. This does not sound fun. So before we get into this painful run, I want to show off my opening intro. I redid it. You know, the God of Death that I showed off last time. This is what he looks like in-game. Go ahead and just show you here. Uh, I am going to probably redo some of the words. There's still a lot of polish that needs to be done, but the, especially right here just sounds a little awkward. Uh, can you touch it? And then you open the portal, and then you can go back into the real world and start your very first run. So... That's that there. Uh, if that looks interesting to you and you want to support my indie game, it's called The Feathered Serpent. You can back it on Steam. And you can uh, click the wishlist. Sorry, back on Steam. You can click the wishlist button on Steam. And you can follow the Kickstarter pre-launch page. Only like 20 people have followed it. It's a great way to get the game for cheaper. It's going to be cheaper than it is when it goes for sale on Steam. And it is going to be a great opportunity for you to beta test the game if you want to select that tier. Or to add in your own enemies, bosses, and, and items depending on which tier you choose to support. So definitely check out the Kickstarter. It's going to be going live very soon here. And I'm not just saying that. I, I Twitter, Elon's trying to ruin Twitter, so I only have like 30 more days of, of free promotion before he makes me buy Twitter blue. Also, you'll notice some lines above my head. It's because I'm at my parents' house. I got this like throne chair. I set up my, my computer here. And uh, yeah, I got the, the green screen though. I brought it, but it, it's hanging on some... What are they called? Window, uh... I don't know what they're called. I'm, I'm spacing the word. Um... Blinds. Unblinds. So some light is going through still. Okay, so we have the double handgun. And we do nine damage. This is... This is bad. I'll just be the... I'll just say it. And I, I can definitely tell that we're slower. Um... Yeah... Oh well. It doesn't seem like it's that bad. I guess on the first floor. But we are going to do the strategy where we <clears throat> maximize uh, just the amount of items we can get. So we're going to go to the outside. Because the outside has the chance to spawn secret item rooms. And uh, this run might be so bad we might even uh, purchase from the cultist shop. Never mind, you thought, psych. We're never doing that again. Zap robot head. That's actually pretty nice. I dig the robot head. It does a lot of damage as he just goes out and shoots. Also, there might be weird pauses just because uh, I got to take care of... I am technically babysitting. I got to take care of kids. I mean, they're they're old enough to kind of watch themselves, but if they need something, I got to help them out. Ouch. All right. We are going to be taking a... Dang it. We got caught on the table there. We're going to be taking a lot of damage just because we're so slow. Laser cannon. I'm going to hold on to it in case we need it for a particularly tough room. Or if we got to fight chunks or something like that. I really uh, do not want to fight chunks. Okay. Uh, so no shops. So what am I really looking for? Just our, uh, oh my goodness, our item room would be nice. We did get our heart back. Looks like Chunks is trying to break his way into this room, but... Oi, yi yi. Somehow we didn't get hit there. We are so slow. You got me. This is one of the tankier enemies that spawns because of our debuff. Okay, Chunks is gonna come in here. Look at how slow Chunks is about to be. Well, also because of the worms, but... He is just slow. Oh my goodness, he's so slow. A little faster here now that the the wormy dealy has died. I 
Also, where does the term, how about this, a little uh, lesson today. Oh, first off, uh, I can move my camera here. Because I also had to change my camera. I'm going to just set up a little differently, but I can. You can't hide forever. That's so funny when I pause. I can like not, yeah, I can be here and not cover up as much of the map. Um, so Wormy Dealy is, uh, there's this content creator called North of the Border. And he makes tiny nerdy things. He makes like little like sculptures or, or things like that. And uh, he always says wormy dealies whenever he makes like a little tiny worm looking thing. So I just like that terminology. How am I supposed to not get hit? Okay. Wow. I guess I'm like just fast enough to be completely even with him. All right. I can like barely clear the spikes it feels. Okay. Monster. The monster food should be really nice. I like how it gave us two items in here, in all honesty. That is very nice. Okay, the laser, the zap head is coming in so clutch. Yeah, I just realized usually Jeff can't clear this room, so this is kind of a dumb room to come into. Um, but we, I guess we do have the laser, which should help. Yeah, we're, we're already on schedule at least, so. It looks like we are gonna clear it. There should be a, a nurse still, right? And we just have a tiny chance to drop items is so good. For the curses that we got going on. Red candle, brighten the entire room. Eh. I don't really care about it. It's, I mean, it's nice-ish. I don't know. Um, okay, weird. So the nurse... The nurse also doesn't spawn. I guess she counts as a shop, which means... Does Roselia even spawn? Does she count as... She's an elevator, though. That's not like a... Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. Okay, well, we've cleared our first floor, surprisingly. I did not... Oh, my... Guys, the audio. Oh, the audio, not again. How could I? Oh, in seven minutes with no audio? I gotta quit turning down the audio. Um, I apologize for that. I bet Thomas said, uh, yeah, you didn't fix the audio again. <laughs> of course I did, why wouldn't I? We're gonna switch to the big laser here because I want to maximize the amount of dollars we get and it is surprisingly really bad like how slow it is hold on I got a someone's at the door okay apologies for the very hectic uh, opening here dang I'm so, I hate not having the sound but I'm already like so far into the run yeah it's just a it's just an L my apologies also I don't like how the camera like it needs to be turned yeah, more centered on me so it doesn't because my arms already cut off this way. I have more room this way Okay, ground floor clear tip never should have come here All right, let's save the big laser beam. It wasn't that good. I mean, I, it wasn't bad, but I was kind of I will get it at the end of this floor. Don't worry. It's the only shot we got at, at making this run work We got a that's the whole point of his freaking upgrade. Okay, that was annoying. This game probably sounds, or it's so weird to, to watch and listen to without uh, sound. Okay. At least I caught it early on. I think I usually do look over and check it like five or six times during a, a video, during an episode here. So it's usually pretty rare that some sound issues go unaddressed the whole video. Ouch, you got me. The monster food is, is nice, considering our speed is so bad. Okay, um, so this run is all about taking risks, right? I, w if the, I wonder if the cultist shop even spawns. That'd be kind of- oh, I should have broken the other one. Oh, dang it. I don't even think the cultist shop will spawn, actually. Because it's considered, like, a shopkeeper. 
Also, <coughs> gotta sneeze, dang. Alright, Chunks is on his way. Whew. I'm feeling pretty good. I uh, got to sleep on a purple mattress last night. Super nice. Super, like, if I was rich, that's the first thing I'm getting. Purple mattress. Definitely 100 million percent worth it. I guess because the mattress I'm used to sleeping on, it, like, caves in in the middle. And it, if someone, like, lays on the other side of the bed, you, like, start rolling towards them. It's very annoying. It's not sturdy at all. And so, like, there's always, like, back pains, or you kink your neck, or you don't feel very good. And you're restless. You wake up in the middle of the night and have to roll over or readjust. But the purple one, I was out. It was beautiful. Just amazing night's sleep. Thank you, little zap head, for helping out, by the way. He is putting in work. Keep in mind, we still only do 9 damage. But I guess we shoot out 2 shots every time we shoot, so we're doing 18 damage. Gotta keep that in mind, I guess. Yeah, I don't think the cultist shop spawns. Yeah, I, uh, I really don't. It's considered a shop. So, but last I checked, the toilet paper, the toilet was considered a shop as well. So, like, is that just never gonna spawn? Like, it's... I don't know. I'm, I'm confused. I'm conf I'm confusing! I'm confused. With how that's, uh, supposed to work. Oh! Dropped an item! Chance for us to not use any ammo. Nice. Spawned in the air. Okay, thank heavens that they all go over to that thing first. It gave me a good, uh, some good time to readjust and reposition myself. Okay. There's our key. Okay, sorry about that. We're back. <clears throat> Smiley pot. Oh, yeah, shoot bullets at enemies. Yep. Well, that was probably worth it. At least we did. We got some items. Two items from this uh, alt path floor. So, yeah, I'd say it's still worth it to come down here, even though. Yeah, I don't know. It was rough. This is going to be rough. So, let me fight the boss. Then we'll come back to the start, pick up the toilet paper, call it a day. Then, next floor, toilet paper's gonna spawn, obviously, immediately, and we'll just be able to enjoy life. Get the sea skin unlocked. Okay. Pumpkin pooed in. So this is like, these are actual boss fights now. I have to actually deal with their mechanics. Woo. Good laser shot on him. I think if you hold still during that move, it like doesn't come towards you as fast. Oh, heck yeah. We'll have the plus sign follow us around. Plus one. All right. Also, this is a, I'm using a different microphone than usual, so I don't know how loud it is compared to like how I normally have my sound set up. So if I'm being a little overpowered by the volume this episode, I also apologize because that would suck. All right, two HP, and we are in a horrendous place. Not gonna lie. At least the I think the best item we have is monster snacks right now. That item should help us survive every room. As long as we remember to just move out of the way, Monster Snacks is great. <sighs> I know I said I slept well, but I guess I'm just, I'm still yawning a bunch, so. Okay. Another toilet paper, bring it on. Oh my, we already found our key. I mean, we don't want to use the key, but sure. Was there a secret? There is a secret room. Oh, with a weapon, an eliminator. Okay, this should help us clear some rooms as well. Another secret room with some money, nice. I'm not super worried about skipping floors now, especially because there's not even a shop for us to even worry about visiting. Yep, I like that a lot. 
I'm gonna be very careful to not get hit here. I am still looking for toilet paper. It spawns more frequently, so... Okay, we're at 400. Hello. Thank you for the money. And I believe we have found it. We have found it, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. And we got two toilet papers. Okay, so now we just have to hope Funky Syringe spawns. Funky Syringe. Rotten Anner would also be okay, but Funky Syringe. I hate the stupid chunks one, and I hate the flies. But Funky Syringe should be good. Help. In a second. Yes! And Rotten Anner. Oh my gosh. Okay, we've won. We, we, we've won. If we can just, uh, live. Huh, chick looks crazy. Oh, we've won. 20 health and, oh, we've won. Beautiful run. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, just, uh, I, fe I feel the pressure. The weight coming off of my shoulders. I was so nervous about this run. It looks like it's just gonna pay off. 14 damage is so good, and look at how fast we shoot. It's so good. You'll love to see it. Although we are slow, I still need to worry about how slow we are. Sorry for going out of bounds. Okay, almost got me. A duck, huh? I'll pick it up, I like that item. Give me the heart. We do have to be... We, we can't buy Ambrosia. There's no shops, so we do have to be careful about how we purchase hearts. And, or, we, have to, we can't purchase Ambrosia, so we have to be careful about our heart management here. I actually have to play well. I don't even know what to spend our money on, though, because there's no shops. Like, that does seem a little weird to me. Now, the question is, I probably wouldn't pick up another toilet paper. I mean, it's a one run. There's no need for me to to throw it away. Ooh, I don't. I think that one limits you to 500. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to. I don't know what the upside to it is, but I don't. I don't like that item. Oh, you hit me. Gotcha. And all of you are tanky enemies. Oh, we have an elevator. I'm just gonna skip the floor. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll skip the floor. I know we're at 4 out of 20. But I don't necessarily think that we're gonna get health. Um, I think that's just always gonna be a struggle. So, might as well just uh, send to the next floor. I think we're strong enough to do the next floor, so... Might as well. One heart drop. That's pretty... That's nice. I appreciate it. Okay, yep, let's last floor, floor four. Wow, this is gonna be like the fast, one of the faster runs we've done. That's pretty crazy considering, uh, I don't know. I don't know why I thought this would have been hard. I guess it's not as hard as I thought. But then again, it's only so, still only going so well because we got two toilet papers, so. Bop, bop. Okay, I'm just gonna be as far away from you two as possible. I love this item for that reason. Goodness gracious. I already found our key. It's shaping up to just be excellent. I don't think I shouldn't waste it on these guys, but I did. Plus 75. On you, I will do it. I hate fighting those guys up close. Okay. I also dislike this guy, but I guess he's not too bad. He's just annoying. And the fact that he's tanky was is not fun. 
All right, thank you for the heart. Two secret rooms, I will check the other one. Flashbangs is pretty good. Oh, and I got some messages here I probably need to look at. Give me two seconds. Oh my goodness. Okay, I was just out for like 30 minutes, so uh, I just had to set up some things and do more adult stuff and respond to messages. And I was supposed to respond to emails, but I was like, honestly, screw it. I'm just gonna come in here. I actually gotta work a little bit today on like more professional stuff. Unfortunately. But I should still be able to, to get a lot done on my game today. Okay, please die. Thank you. That nice weapon is now no longer a thing, so you gotta be careful. We're just looking for the boss's uh, room now. It sucks that these guys spawn so late because then the, it makes the monster bag kind of worthless. Also, if you hear any laughing or screaming in the background, it's just the kids being kids, okay? I apologize. Okay, dang it. Uh, where do we think the boss is? Oh, that's the uh, challenge room. I don't really want to do that, but... Okay, can you chill? Okay, we have chunks now. Okay, I gotta make my way around anyways. We're gonna go to the left of the starting area. And we should be good. I like the corpses. I've started incorporating, like, in my game, like, there's huts. Also, I realize I'm leaning forward and my face is cut off. There's huts in my game, like, lizard spawn... Spawning huts, and, uh... I mean, so when you destroy them, they just sit there afterwards. It adds, like, a lot to the game, actually. So I'm kind of sad that all my death animations, kind of like, they just disintegrate. Um, because it would have been cool to, like, leave dead corpses on the ground and stuff. Alright, we have found our boss. This is perfect. This is great! I think we're gonna win! I think we got this in the bag! Alright, dodge the fists. Don't get fisted, not today. Funky Syringe is just carrying this run, honestly. Goodness gracious. That's the point, though. I mean, he gets extra toilet paper. It's literally the point of this character is, hey, just go get the bathroom items. So. Hello. It'd be cool if he still looked around in this, this uh, scene. I could still spin around. Tip blood must atone for blood. Just looking for hearts. Don't mind me. Okay, lots of money. Yeah, I wonder what's up. Do we get the shop here then on this on this floor? Randomize your second your secondary weapon every three seconds. No thanks. I guess we do get the shop. Weird. So we get the shop on the balcony. That's nice. I see the toilet paper. Stay away from me. Ghost bullet? Okay, I guess Ambrosia and then Ball and Chain, maybe. Thank you, Cordelia, for, uh, I guess, appearing on the final floor. Wow, we're gonna do it. We're actually gonna beat a run with all the curses unlocked. We have 20 out. This is crazy. And in, like, record time. Like, <laughs> 24 minutes. I don't even know how long in-game time. Maybe, like, 22 minutes. That's pretty dang fast, considering a speedrun is considered, like, under 20 minutes. Yeah, 21 minutes of in-game time. That's crazy. That's really weird. But okay, yeah, I'm, I'm down with it. Let's go. I'll take the free win. I don't care. This is sick. I genuinely thought this was going to be like an hour and a half super painful long run with multiple deaths because of toilet paper. I, I guess I, I manifested an easy run, I guess. The game knew it's like he doesn't have a lot of time to spend playing games today, so... He's gotta be taking care of the kids. Oh, you got me. Wow, and then there's the bazooka already. Okay. Yeah, drop it. Woo, goodness gracious, and that's the end.
just like that. I'm excited to see Jeff's sea skin. I believe it's like young Jeff from what I've like seen. But I think it looks pretty sick from what I remember. And I see it because I have to, yeah, the young and complete run with every individual curse enabled is Jeff. Oh, yeah. You've unlocked Jeff's sea costume. All right. Okay. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Okay, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. The end. Dang, I've like, I think I've restarted runs at this point. Like, if I died 25 minutes in, I've been like, okay, let me do another run. <sighs> okay, and then now... I like remember, but I don't remember. Costume Party 2, unlock the C costume for every character. I don't even have Costume Party 1 unlocked, that's funny. Okay, Costume C. Whoa! He looks sick! He's kinda got like, I wish my hair looked like that all the time. But I dig it. I love how it's just so tiny. Okay, so that's the Jeff C costume. Um, I didn't realize that they have names. Graduated Cordelia, Duchess Cordelia, Lewis, Investigator Lewis, Goddess Lydia, I didn't even realize. Digby, Funkin' Digby from Friday Night Funkin', Psychic Digby, Boss, Prison Boss, Legendary Boss, Fuji, Senator Fuji, Champion Fuji, Jules, yeah, Ballistic Jules, Huntress Jules. Young Jeff, Jeff, Gnome Jeff, Mumba, Monster Mumba, Mumbear. Wow, okay, I didn't I didn't notice that. So, what do we have left? Well, we have the B costume for Lewis and the B costume for Lydia. And I believe that that's it. And you get the B costume on Lydia by breaking no pots on one run. And you get the B costume on Jeff, or Lewis I mean, by not picking up any hearts or something like that. Yeah, no hearts and you beat the game. So that's it's gonna be fun trying to get those two skins over the next few days. Well, uh, that's what we're gonna work towards. But until then, thanks for watching everyone. I appreciate you. Go ahead and share your love with me and your support with me and notify me on launch. Do that, the links are in the description. You can get notified for the Kickstarter and wishlist my game on Steam. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a great rest of your day, and it's the freaking weekend. Enjoy it.